Welcome back to Marvel Puzzle Quest with me, P.I. McLeod. And we're getting really close to what, you might ask? The nine-year anniversary is coming up soon. I know it's not there yet. It's only the end of August. But, you know, if you do some simple math, you know, 365 days in a year times nine. We're almost there. Look at this counter. 32-33 today. I mean... I don't know about you, but that's that's pretty darn close. Just about 50 days away-ish. Can't wait to see where they line up this year. Probably more di devil dinos and whatnot, but hey, like I can hope, right? Anyways, what are we doing today? Well, uh, first off, check on you guys. How'd you do in your boss event? The recurring nightmare. I don't think the stats are up here anymore. Oh, there they are. Um, I hope you guys did good. Got all your full rewards. Helped your alliance out. Uh, that's, I mean, there's two chasm covers on the line. One for yourself for personal progression and one for the alliance. And uh, as much as I love getting the personal progression done because I feel like I've done my part, at the same time, I'd feel, I don't know, a little um, crappy <laughs> of an alliance member to not do my part and help my alliance do what they should do or get what they deserve. I know my alliance tries, so I'm going to try to help them out. Hope you guys did yours too. Um, what I am here for today is one thing really simple. Crash the Titans. Um, it's almost done with, and it's going to move on with a whole new one tomorrow, and can't let those legendary tokens slip by. And I always seem to put higher priority on other events before I do the crash. So here we are, last minute stuff. Who is it today? Going against Jean Grey. Oh God, didn't we didn't we talk about her before in Crash the Titans? She's, she always seems to be cheating with 555. Five. It's probably because she's not that overwhelming anymore. When she was newer to the game, when she was added in, she had this, well, she still does, has this passive ability where, you know, you make a match five or better and she stuns your whole team for two turns and depletes some AP and does damage and yada 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 it's it's great it's a great thing it basically punishes anyone from getting match fives or setting up match fives etc etc um and then her two other moves her purple and her green basically are big team hits so invisible people cannot hide from her at least her purple and greens that is um and on top of that um not only do they do damage but one of them adds special tiles to the board you know like strike attack protect so sort of thing the other one removes enemy strike protect protects from the board um it's good stuff um i'm not saying it's ever that great because really at the end of the day her green and her purple are pretty expensive so i wouldn't rely on them unless you have a good way to feed her um but she is good at deterring those match fives um that being said, she hasn't really been that relevant in a long time. She's a nuisance on defense because I don't know about you. Every time you see an enemy Jean Grey, doesn't the computer always just seem to have a match five at the ready? Like it's taunting you. Go ahead and match it. Nothing bad's going to happen, right? Right? Yeah. So, I don't know. Superstition and all that, but it seems it always works that way. Anyways, who we get to go against her with? Ant-Man. This is almost always his setup, going against Jean Grey. I can't imagine why. Is there some comic book lore I'm not aware of? Has Ant-Man ever fought Jean Grey <laughs> or been against her in some way? Um, if, there, if there has been, I mean, I'm obviously not aware of it. Um, I'm not a comic book guru by any means, but at the same time, it's just hard for me to imagine some universe where Jean Grey and Scott Lang are like, oh, we really hate you. <laughs> hey, DC, how you doing, buddy? Afternoon. <clears throat> um, so, anyways, Ant-Man is one of the earlier four stars to the game in Marvel Puzzle Quest, and, well, let's just go over what he does. Uh, for one, he feeds Wasp, which is sad. One of the worst five stars known to man. When I say one of, I really just say I should say the worst. But anyways, um, his three abilities revolve around making special tiles uh, or obtaining them somehow. So first off, you got his pin particles. It's a modest cost of nine. It's not that cheap, but not that expensive. It makes a trap tile, which is kind of weird. 
but um, what it, as long as it exists out there, which is iffy because trap tiles are easily overwritten, um, it creates three strength, you know, pretty decent strength purple attack tiles each turn. Each turn, I want to I want to just put that out there again. Each turn. So let's say you fill up all the purple tiles eventually, but another one drops up. Oh, he's going to make more the next turn. It's it's a really good way of making attack tiles if you want to, if you have a way of getting purple. Um, more importantly, it becomes grow after when it's on the board. Grow when you use, remove all the pin particles and small time crook tiles, which we'll get into that in a moment, and deal a pretty darn good amount of damage to the target. Of course, this costs another nine purple. So if you're doing the math at home, that's 18 purple to get to this ability. I would hope it does a lot of damage. Um, I'm going to skip down to Ants, Ants, Ants because Small Town Crooks, are I would say, is probably the least popular ability. Um, you'll see. Ants, Ants, Ants is cheap. Seven yellow. It's pretty good, especially for, you know, at the time and place of the game when, when he came out. Seven was really cheap uh, back then. Now it's just pretty cheap. <laughs> um, seven yellow means... Oh, what's up, DC? I'm sorry. You got lucky, you pulled two con co oh, comma con covers to max her. Got lucky both weren't in the color, already had five. Oh, that's awesome. Congrats, dude. Anytime you um, could champ out a comma con, that's awesome. You do mean champ, right? Or do you really mean like maxed her? Like you got her to 550. Yeah. No, wait, you said both in the same color. So it can't be that situation. That's still good. Very good job, man, champing her. Wish I could champ her. <laughs> I wasn't lucky enough yet. Yet. Anyways, create five three-turn red countdown tiles. That's five of them. That's a lot of countdowns for seven yellow. That each create um, a yellow strike tile. Um, and, and that's upon completing, okay? I want to I reiterate this right. Um, that's only when it completes. It's not going to do that damn... It's not going to create that strike tile until it's done, Okay. But a passive, at the beginning of each turn, each ant tile is is dealing damage. You're not going to get the strike tile until it's done, but you're going to get damage each turn. So if you do have strike tiles out there already, this is going to, you know, each one of these is going to do its damage along with those strikes. Or, I don't know, along with Okoye or along with Apocalypse. You get the point? You could really do a lot of damage to ants, ants, ants. It's pretty good. Um... And since you've got so many of those countdowns out there, it's hard to get rid of them all. So it's a it's a good power. Um, beyond that is Small Time Crooks. It costs 9 blue, much like how his purple costs 9. There's a theme. You'll see it. Um, creates a 5-turn blue countdown, just a single one, unfortunately. That steals one enemy. Well, let's put up to 5 so you can see. Steals 3 enemy attack, protect, or strike tiles every turn. Now, it's only a five-turn countdown, so at most you're going to get 15 tiles, but still, that's pretty decent, right? And then while it's on the board, it turns into Grow, which does big damage. It's the same thing as the Purple's version of Grow, okay? Um, it's going to take 18 blue to get there, though. I only put this down to, to level three because really, at the end of the day, it, the enemy has to have attack, protects, and strikes on the board for this to work. They're not always going to have those out there. And three every turn? I mean, if they don't have three every turn, then, you know, is it really worth it just for to use once? I don't know. I'd rather just have it do one every turn. You know, it's modest at best. And then I could still use grow if I really want to. Um, but I'm probably not. I probably have better uses for blue on a team with Ant-Man. It's, it's just me. I might be My opinions may be a little skewed, but I think you're... You're better put into big strike tiles with damage and attack tiles every turn with pin particles. Um, of course, from here, you could uh, feel free to attach any support to you know make them even better, but I'm not going to go with that right now. We're, we've got other videos that I've already posted about how to use supports. Uh, feel free to use those at your own discretion. I'm going to go forth, and we're just going to get in there and see what we can do to Jean Grey, okay? Ready and remember it's a one on one, so we gotta make it animations or character effects on. Yeah, that's cool, DC. Nice five star champ there. I want her champed. 
Um, now, since she uses purple and green, um, it is imperative that we match purples before her because we can use the purples. Um, we don't want her to use them on us. Makes sense? I'd hope it would. Um, I'm going to match all the yellows and purples I can, which aren't always available. Um, if she matches blue, it's not going to hurt us because that blue, well, besides her match damage, because the blue is just the passive and she can't do anything with the AP. So like this right here, I'm going to let her have. Um, well, actually, you know, if I match this down, that'll work. I was looking at matching this one downwards, and that would line up the purples for her, and I don't want her to have them. Let me just do this real quick. There we go. Um, let's see, what can we go with? <clears throat> Excuse me. I guess we'll take some green. Not that that's my intention, but... Take some more yellow. We're almost there at the ants. <sighs> Unfortunately, matches like these with these older characters are a little slower. There's barely any passive play going on. And because of that, we're not really, you know, getting into the slugfest this could be. Um, I guess I'll take the match four because it has a purple involved. So now I can put this out there if I want, but what's the point, right? Now, if I had 18 blue, now we're talking. I'll do grow, and then we'll just get it over with. But if I get 18 blue, well, we'll revisit it. Or if she makes some tiles, but I don't see that happening that fast. Here's some ants for you. Some ants, some uncles. Yuck, 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 yuck. Um, let's roll with... Let's do the cascade. I mean, why not, right? Hey, that worked out for me. Wow, that worked out much better than I would have imagined. Oh, just in case you didn't weren't aware, her powers do cost ten for purple, twelve for green. So, like I said, they're a little pricier. Um, you shouldn't have to worry about her firing them off that often unless she actually got really lucky with her with the cascades. Ah, one of my ants went away. Stupid cascades. So look at all that damage. Just because each of these ants is chomping down. Um, now we can put out a pin particle. Now as long as she doesn't match that away, or I don't, um, it's going to make attack tiles. And that's going to be a beautiful thing. No, oh, don't get away from my, get away from my ants. Okay, so now I already have attack tiles and strike tiles out there, which means they're going to, you know, help each other out immensely. If I get a little more blue, I could do the grow combo on her too. I don't see it happening though. I'm looking to see where I can get some blue before she dies, and I don't think it's going to happen. Especially where these pin particles are, I don't know, multiplying. How much am I doing here? Decent amount. Um, well, I'll do this for now. I guess I'll use her blue now, just uh, his blue, I should say, just to get the animation out there, because she's dead. <laughs> just so you can see him ride in on Anthony. How cute, right? Um, yeah, oh well, we don't get the grow animation, which is kind of cool. It does this whole, like, coming from tiny to, like, really big animation, and then ends with a punch. It's kind of nice. It's one of the better animations in the early game. Legendary token is ours. Nice. Cool. So we're replenishing our stock for the next time we get a five star in there in the latest Legends. Um... But let's not jump ahead of ourselves. She-Hulk has yet to get her uh, her new five-star store. Not the HP store, but, you know, the one of the legendary tokens. Uh, you know, the one that goes above Latest Legends has two other five-stars with it. You know the one. So 
we're building up our legendary token stock. I'm at six already, and we're just waiting for She-Hulk to show up in hers. <clears throat> Almost got a thousand CP to spend, so waiting patiently. Well, that's it for me for now. Just a short one, like I said earlier. So um, thank you very much for watching. And by the way, a little extra note here. If anyone has any suggestions on software or um, things I could use to help edit, trim, um, add effects, whatever, to these videos, I would appreciate it. Um, I could do some Googling around and figuring it out, but I, would, I wouldn't mind suggestions either. Maybe you guys know of a couple of software things that work better for you. Or maybe you've seen them and are impressed by them yourself. I don't mind adding a little pizzazz now, especially since we just hit uh, over 50 followers on Twitch. I have over 350 subs on YouTube. I'm gonna keep it rolling. I want to maybe you know make this a little more entertaining visually. Thank you again for everything, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.